July 2023, so one month of being 40. What is going on for Phoenix career development? What is going on with Lorette? What kind of adventures are we pursuing in our professional adult lives? Do you love your life? Would you like to love your life? Would you like to have the flow of life where it's like, oh my God, this is so awesome. This is not an awesome, but I can handle it. Oh my God, this is so amazing. Like river flow waves crashing and like <laughs> so in phoenix career development it's very it's awesome do you know what i mean i have clients that are coming that are like and they've used my services before and been like oh my god i'm stuck here i'm stuck here so i have the theory of career development so how do you understand how to create a life that you love or a career that you love the practice of career development which is practicing a career that you love and the legendary journey is playing in what you love so i love my company phoenix career development so if you hate your job and if you want to talk to an employment specialist talk to me because um, I will teach you how to create a job that you love. So within Phoenix Career Development, we were missing the subconscious becoming competent. We were missing the elusive imagination in life or like, why do we hurt ourselves? Why do we self-sabotage? How do we stop self-sabotaging? So I aligned with Lifecraft this year and it's such a beautiful gift to learn hypnotherapy. So there is a quick fix in life and it's talking to your subconscious, talking to your imagination, working out things in your own deep subconscious and doing change work. So I am about two months before I graduate, if not less than that, from Lifecraft to be a clinical hypnotherapist as well. So I'm an employment specialist first and foremost, but I found we were missing steps in self-development within Phoenix Career Development, which was hypnotherapy. And actually, which was healing sounds as well. So within Lifecraft, uh, it's a community of people that want to heal and like to heal. And I've already had my healing journey. It's been six years since like I got my heart condition. It's been like two years since I completely recovered from my heart condition. So healing is a journey. Miracles are a journey. Health and fitness are a journey. And it's the best journey to go on because when you're really, really sick, do you think you can get well? That's the answer. So if you do and you want to get well, believe that you can. Have a conversation with me. I would love to watch your miracle of life. I would love to watch you grow, change, and develop and become the amazing person that you're supposed to be. Um, very fun journey. Very fun life. So I'm practicing and I'm getting my hours in to learn how to be a hypnotherapist. So... July, August, you probably only have a month if you want to do hypnotherapy with me um, for free, let me know. But as soon as I'm like full blown clinical, it's going to be worth some money for sure. So um, very fun, very exciting. That is July. I finished Diligence and Proficiency in Play, which is the fourth book in the series of A Journey of Epic Proportions, Slay Some Dragons. I'm starting Love is a Deeper Understanding of the Universe. So, like, my books are coming. Um, my first one, A Journey of Epic Proportions, Slay Some Dragons, is online on Amazon if you want to buy it. Um, and have a conversation with me at the end of the day. Um, enjoy the journey. If you need to talk to someone about your career, let's have a conversation. Let's do some change work. Let's enjoy the journey. Uh, enjoy your July. Have a good day.